Science tells us that to add more oomph to our serve, we need to harness the principle of mass and acceleration. In tennis terms, mass equates to our body weight and acceleration is synonymous with the racket head speed. To crank up the power, we must find ways to use our body weight more efficiently when striking the ball and enhance racket speed through impact. The goal is to amplify mass and acceleration during impact, which translates into a greater force upon the ball, resulting in a more power. Now, let's explore how Ben Shelton has mastered this concept, seemingly by natural means, and why he self stand out in the ATP Tour now. Now, break it down Ben's serve. To understand what makes Ben serve so devastating, you must start from the ground up. His stance is notable narrow, with the front foot slightly angled from the baseline and the back foot nearly parallel. As he tosses the ball and ensures a slight knee bend, the front foot moves backward, narrowing the stance even further. One key element that sets Ben apart is his exceptional ability to generate a strong loading and coiling uh, of the lower body. All from this standpoint, stance, he executes a rapid deep knee bend, giving his motion that characteristics of a Jackie quality. At the uh, culmination of his knees, bend, his weight is evenly distributed between the balls of both feet, uh, providing a solid platform to spring from, maximizing his torso rotation. For a powerful serve, it's essential for the body to rotate as much as possible, storing maximum potential energy that's ultimately transferred into the, into the shot. Imagine the torso as a coil spring ready to release. Bend display an expressive degree of trunk rotation as the winds up to, the, uh, to strike the ball. Uh, what's particularly not noteworthy is that he uh, accomplishes this with such a narrow stance. The art of the arm, shoulder to racket head. Now, Let's dissert the part that might have had some people worried about Ben's service motion. The action of the arm from the shoulder to the racket head. He employs a continental grip, raising the racket with an abbreviated backswing, essentially synchronizing the racket's uh, ascent with the tossing arm. This motion offers a distinct advantage. It's less susceptible to timing errors, especially when factors like the wind affecting the ball toss come into play. As he prepares to launch, his right shoulder dips below the level, the level of the left, aligning with the technique employed by the most top-notch servers like uh, Rodic. The crucial role of range Range refers to the extent of joint movement during an athletic action. When it comes to tennis serve, the most pivotal range um, is external arm rotation or the number of degree the arm can pivot backward before striking the ball. Bends uh, boost an impressive 126 degree in this range. Why this range is so vital to us and to any server? The speed of the serve is intrinsically linked to a racket head speed. The faster the racket head moves upon impact, the faster the serve. Achieving this speed requires time and distance. Think of it as a difference between a one ninth, one, sorry, a one eighth mile drag race and a quarter mile drag race. 
the letter allows for us the letter allows for more time and distance to reach top end speed resulting in a much faster outcome thank you for watching